Yo, what is up guys? Uh, face cam, but it might be blurry for you because I'm doing post editing because YouTube will go cuckoo bonkers crazy if if I actually have a, uh, they will go cuckoo bonkers crazy if I have my face completely shown. So I had to blur it out because I don't know why YouTube's just crazy right now. Um, this was in regards to my book, if you have seen my last video. But if you haven't, I'm making a book. It's called The Box of Room 1280. That's really all I have to say. So basically, I need help writing this book. I need help coming up with ideas. I have a basic summary slash plot. Um, and the, the basic summary slash plot kind of covers the whole movie besides the ending. Which is actually really surprising. I just need everything in the middle, like all the fun parts and everything. So, basically, the beginning starts like this. It starts off with a family. Um, this family consists of two brothers, a sister, a mom, and a dad. There was a scrapped uh, other sister that was supposed to be in the book. I just don't really know why I... I don't really know why I just decided to scrap that character. That character may actually return as another one of the characters. Later on, you'll see another character, and this character should return. But I plan to do some uh, other stuff. So, yeah. So, uh, a sister, two brothers, mom and dad. Okay. And also, they have a cat named Jeremy. Do not worry about this, because it's not important. The cat is just, like there for comic relief you won't actually see it in the description of the video because the cat named jeremy is not important unless no i'm joking the cat's not important i mean oh my gosh my actual cat is right outside my room right now say hi yeah okay so all right so we know how that works. Now, careful with uh, the story, because, uh, so basic, basic plot for the first few chapters of the book. Sister dies. All right. And then brother runs away because of getting bullied. Older brother is like, uh, no, 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 no. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it. It was just, it was just, and then the brother is just like, no, goodbye. Disappear. Like, see, I'm not here. I'm back. Magic. I actually just editing. Editor, you did put that in there, right? Okay. Great. So, anyways, uh, where were we? Oh, yeah. So after the after the brother runs away, there will be a time skip, a time skip to um, later in the future when our main character, the younger brother, is older. He's also a detective now. And so basically, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but the dad goes missing trying to find the daughter. Yes, okay. So, now that we've cleared that up, there's two, there's basically two missing persons case. Or, not find the daughter, find out what happened to her, sorry. So, there's two missing per persons case. One of them has just been found at, and, uh, just not found, but the, the, the daughter has just been, it is, everything says she's dead. Everything on, it just points to that. There's no exact confirmation in the book, as far as I know. I'm still writing the plot and everything, and then I'll write the full thing later on, but I, that's why I need help with. So, the, uh, the father goes missing. So, the brother was also presumed dead, so there's, there's technically two, that's why there's two missing persons. Case. But there, I mean, if you want to count the daughter, then that's three. So there's two missing persons case that have been reported the father and the son. So now that we know this, let's just begin with the uh, our, our main hero 
is a detective, right? The detective is the son. Spoilers. Why? Why spoilers? Because it's not confirmed. And that's why there's spoilers. So, uh, I'll go ahead and have a message at the beginning saying, watch this at your own, watch this at your own risk. So, so, um, when our detective is doing work with his three friends, um, one's named Mark, the other one, uh, can't remember what the other one, the other one whose name was, but the other, I think, I, I think his name, wait, so there's four main characters, so yeah, wait, right, five, um, uh, so all I can remember right now, because I wrote this really late at night, and, uh, one brother, uh, wait, sorry, no, one of the names is Mark. So just remember that, and also, when I find more, I'll probably put it in the description. So, uh, the detective sets out on an adventure with his friends to find the case of his sister. Just why she went missing and was presumed dead, along with the father, why he went missing, where he went. Because nobody had seen him for, like, the past few months. He, although our detective has been keeping an eye on them. Oof. But I mean, he still loves them, but just uh, doesn't love his brother. Now, his brother, who we will call Jack, because that is his name. Jack is out trying to find his brother because he knows he's still alive. The parents thought the, the younger brother was dead, but no, he ran away. They didn't believe Jack. Why? Because they knew he was a bully. They just, like, they're crap parents, I guess. So, Jack actually managed to find where his brother went. So, he goes to his brother and he says, So, he says, Oh my gosh, you're, are you okay? And unknowing who, who Jack was, the detective just says, who are you? It's me, it's Jack. Get out. What? Get out. I don't want to see you. I came all this way. I came all this way just to find you. I came all this way to tell you that dad went missing. Dad had left a note saying he found information on where the sister went. So, Daniel being the detective, yes, I read, I uh, actually, this was, I just, I messed up there. I wasn't supposed to tell you that I used my own name. Dang it. Well, anyway, Daniel being the detective he is, takes his three friends and Jack because Jack forced himself to go. So Daniel was like, Jack, you can't come. And Jack was like, yeah, I have to come. He's my father. He may not be yours anymore, and you may not want him to be, and you may not want me to be your brother, but I promise I've changed. I didn't mean to hurt you. You don't know what doing that to you put me through. I'm, I'm sorry. Fine, you can come, but that's only because he's your father, Daniel would say. Thanks. So on their adventure, they meet up with some people who have seen or heard rumors of where the father went. Father's name is Kyle, by the way. This is just because I have a friend who's named Kyle and I wanted to honor him. Anyways, so Kyle went missing. We know this. And so the detectives meet up with these people. Well, the detectives being Daniel and his friends, his three friends. Jack is also there. So basically, Daniel and Jack would be doing good, co good cop, bad cop to one of the people in, later on in the story because they have information and are held, holding it hostage. So um, Jack takes measures to the extremes, but we'll get to that later. So after getting to the uh, the people, Daniel Daniel um, asks them for the information. They they give it and say, well, we saw a man uh, 
that was not from here. We, we've seen everyone that's from here, but we know this person was not from here. So we asked him who he was. He said his name was Kyle, and he said he was looking for his daughter. We immediately get confused because looking for his daughter, she was presumed dead. He said he's, he said he found evidence of her being alive or something and I don't know why but he said if if my two kids come by here which I know they will I want you to give us give them this it was a key with a note we didn't really understand what he meant the two people would say well, thanks for asking. I mean, thanks for telling us. When they open the note, it says, To my sons, Daniel and Jack, I know you guys are still there. I know you're still alive, Daniel. I've known this this whole time, for I had to keep this a secret. Daniel would be taken aback, thinking, Wait, they thought I was dead? And Jack would say, Yeah. Not that terrible. Exactly. Uh, nothing. Y what? Uh, well, I mean, you weren't that terrible. You just... I've had enough. I left. I told him that, Jack would say. Getting back to the note. I have found... I have found evidence of... Something... Related to... Your sister... Getting confused, we start wondering why there's a key. This key is for a box. This this box you'll find in. Well, I can't tell you the rest of this because this is this is going to be important for the end. So you'll have to read the book or help me make the book to find out what I mean. So the key unlocks the box. Now, why is this word called the box of room? I can never remember this. One, two, eight, zero. Why is it called that? Because a box is in a room. This box is very important to finding their father. And this, the ending of the story, the ending of the story lets so much happen. It, it allows, uh, a big universe of these types of stories to appear. So this is a thriller. At, this is an adventure thriller book, a mysterious adventure thriller book. It's not an actual, it's, I wouldn't say it's a horror film. I mean, book, uh, but it is a thriller because it does have some scary scenes and very action like stuff. So, Action, some scary scenes, mystery, and adventure. Mostly adventure and action, not action, mystery and adventure. But let me just tell you about the ending. The ending is going to do something you will not expect. The ending is, in fact, going to... Do something with these characters that you would not think possible because this this book kind of just sets up a whole universe of these stories. And this is like based off of a real world, not like Toyland and stuff like that. This is big. Like, um I might make it into a movie. I might do a movie of this. Because it would be kind of easy to make a movie. On this, like an actual movie I'll upload on YouTube. And, um, well, I can't tell you about the ending, but I can tell you about some more stuff in the middle. But if you want details on how to help me with the book, um, just ask me in the comments and I will be able to help you with that. See you guys later. Bye.